Hi. Hi. I'm Blake Walton. And I'm Annie Morrison. Last year we were privileged to be a part of the United Solo Festival in New York City uh, with two selections, uh, both plays written by Annie Morrison. Um, one was Linda Lovely Goes to Broadway and the other was Trevor's Fire. Lin Annie performed Linda Lovely and I performed Trevor's Fire and we were, we were welcomed uh, with open arms to a very warm community of the Solo Festival. They became our family. They did. We will be presenting two new plays at the 2013 United Solo Festival. A new play that Annie wrote called... Word Painting, Soliloquies Around an Easel. And you've written something for yourself which is called... Leading Men. We need your support. Last year, we had a magnificent group of people come together to take us all the way the, through the 2012 Solo Festival in ways we couldn't even imagine. No. Trunks and, and traveling, and then there was Sandy that we Sandy. didn't expect. And <laughs> right. then a Nor'easter, which was pretty funny to watch the two of us walk down the street with a truck with a in truck. hand mm -hmm. and the it. snow coming this right. way. Right. But we want you to mostly help us and become our family. Join our family by joining mailing lists that we have. Come see performances anytime Absolutely. we have them, um, especially at the Solo Festival. Um, Your funding year. would be wonderful. We have okay. a lot to do, and uh, now i got to find the keys to the van. That's right, because your help can help us move Gotta Van Productions forward. forward. Thank you. Thank it's you. a piece I put together because I had been a model over at the Ringling College of Art Design for about four or five years. And sitting sometimes nude, sometimes draped, my mind is a monkey mind and would go all over the place. And while I was sitting there, I often would look over out at the students and wonder what was going in the mind of my mother back in 1942 when she was a student at the Chicago Art Institute. And I, I sat down and started writing a monologue about the monkey mind of the model. And then I wanted to write the perspective of an art student. And as I began to write that piece, it became a dance. It became poetry. The next piece I discovered I wanted to see what the art had to say. I got the answer to that by looking at my mom's art and looking through her poetry. And the next thing I knew I was weaving her poetry, my poetry, to explain a piece of art. I was curious about the mind of the critic, because they're pretty comical in themselves. Um, and we decided to put everybody in a different world, since time is all kind of happening at once, simultaneous moment kind of thing. So I put the model in 2012. I put the art student in 1942, tribute to my mother. I put the art speaking in 2042. And then in 1912, I put the thoughts of a critic. It was an interesting journey. In the process, I learned some very beautiful things about our creative selves, and our mysteries, and where the clues to the mysteries really are. In the asking of a question, the answer is right there. It has been a beautiful, heartfelt journey for me, and I think it's going to be surprisingly universal. And I was mulling around this rant in my head about um, manhood. And uh, what I was hearing daily about what it is to be a man. And so I set out to write this piece about manhood in this society, and especially approaching it as a gay man. It became society. a play about fatherhood. Um, as I told the tale of my relationship with my father, which is a beautiful relationship. Um, an evolving relationship. And beautiful because it came from uh, rejection uh, and growing into an incredible acceptance and admiration. 
I, I just well, I want to return the check to that window and leave. He was pointing to a closed window, but knew the woman he had talked to was behind it. The 12-year-old guard was unyielding, causing my father, who reached the boy guard's belt, to start exclaiming loudly the simple task he had come there to perform. I just want to take this check and hand it to the nice woman behind the window over there. Probably because of altitude, the simpleton in the uniform could not hear my father and again directed him and me to the waiting area. I am returning our check. I'm giving it back. I just want to do that. To the child cop began ushering us out of the door. We were being kicked out of social security department <laughs> because we were, or he was, being disruptive. Very cool on one level. <laughs> my dad, the radical. <laughs> But I looked at his red face and steely features and saw the whole thing in his light. This had been a pissed off, white haired little old man who refused to adjust to the changing times. He was also holding a check addressed to his dead wife that he could not shake. It's called Leading Men because it's about the three leading men in my life and my life movie. These are the it's my father, my son, and myself in my life movie. It's about um, how I learned to lead men, how my father learned to lead men, my son learned to lead men, and um, how we've all played leading men on stage, and theater plays a big part of this. The result of writing this was Unexpected. It, there was a great empowerment for me uh, because I was telling the truth. I learned that in the, in the truth, um, there's no wrong, um, and there is incredible a kind of forgiveness for things that uh, you think are were wrong in your life or were um, slights or. Um, or harm or hurt and um, I became I realized I was a pretty sane being that I was really quite healthy um, in my outlook and um, I get to define manhood um, and my great belief and knowledge about what it is to be a man in this society, a real man. Last year we were privileged to be part of the 19... <laughs> 2012. <laughs> we, we don't even know what timeline we're in. <laughs> I hate the third okay. dimension, don't you? Yeah. Susan, the fifth dimension. <laughs> oh, we are. Hi. Wait, I'm crying. <laughs> I know it is. It's, it's a wonderfully emotional project okay. we have to tell you about. Okay, stop it. Okay, stop. Stop. Okay. <laughs> you stop it. Hi. Hi. <laughs> I'm, Bla I'm Blake Walton. <laughs> and I'm Annie Morrison. <laughs> For us. Yeah. Um, <laughs> give us give lots us money. of money because we're hilarious. <laughs> At least we think we are. <laughs> oh, I'm crying again. <laughs> okay. Okay, mm. wait, wait.